Hi, I'm Charles Asbridge and I'm here in beautiful Tampa Bay with the founder of Bull Bay Rods out of Lakeland, Florida, Kelly Phillips. Kelly, tell us about these rods that you've created. Well, what we've done is we went out and uh, decided, you know, buying this, the rods in a big box store just wasn't doing it for us. And uh, I wanted a rod that had more sensitivity, uh, longer casting, and would help me get rid of some of my loop knots. So I met with my rod builder, which has been doing it about 25 years. He says, hey, why don't you put these Fuji K guides on your rods, and that'll help out with your, with your, your loop knots. He said, and why don't we build something as, as sensitive as you can get it, without compromising the integrity of the rod. So we went out and we created what we call the Sensi Grip, which is uh, located here. And if you notice it on the rod that Mr. Asbridge is holding, it's a little bit larger, which is our, our, uh, our beginning series, if you will. Both rods have the same sensitivity and backbone and performance, but what they offer is unparalleled uh, vibration. When your lure is actually going through the water, you can feel the vibration coming into the, the rod right through your hand. we found that about a year of our research and development, we came up with what we call the Sensi Grip, which is located here on the front of the rod, right in front of your reel seat. Uh, that's made out of a patent pending compound, and we're gonna keep, kinda keep that secret today. Uh, however, what, we've just, what we found is the vibration of your lure going through the water is now being felt right in front of the rod on the Sensi Grips. Uh, you're catching more fish by doing that. Uh, you can feel what's going on underneath in your surroundings. And quite frankly, with you, I've caught more fish on these rods in the last few years than I've caught on any rods. And I've been doing this for a long time. Friends, I have to tell you, we just finished fishing this morning. Got out here early about daybreak. And let me tell you, these bull bay rods are amazing. We were out there pulling in some bull reds, hit our limit in fact, just a few minutes. These bull bay rods are for real. Now, Kelly, what are they comparable to on the market right now? I would place this in the high end on the G Luma series or your high end Shimano. Uh, the reason I say that because they've got the, the uh, Fuji K guides that we've incorporated. I don't know if you can see that on the camera there, but what we've done is the guide faces up and forward. And if you're fishing in tournaments or if you're fishing with braided line, it's a have to, guys. Quit being aggravated with your braided line, getting your loop knots. Get you a rod specifically designed with the K guides, especially on the inshore uh, fishing. Uh, and this rod here, they both they both have the K guides. This here is our our titanium series. It's really our kayak series rod. I don't know if you notice in the background we have a Hobie kayak here with us today. Uh, this one here is designed with a little bit shorter butt. Uh, so when you're casting, you're not going to get as much caught on your shirt. And you're still going to get that long cast. In fact, today we were the average cast with a quarter inch jig head was about 60 yards. It's absolutely incredible that this is true. That these K guides allow your rod to just cast. It makes a world of difference, these Fuji guides, on just the length of how far you can get your bait out away from the boat in the calm water where there's no disruption, where the fish can really concentrate on the bait. It is amazing what these rods can do. And let me tell you something so amazing about these rods. Not only are, are they effective and they really are, are great on the water and the sensitivity, but they're beautiful. I mean, explain to me some of the designs. Now, I have to share with you that Kelly made me a University of Tennessee uh, rod, and it is absolutely beautiful, but you can make any any logo, any uh, NCAA college, any anything by want, you can custom make this rod for them, the length, the weight, everything. That's correct. You know, the beautiful thing about custom rods is you've always seen a custom rod made and they kind of look similar to each other as you go. With the Sensi Grip, not only we realize we picked up a, a piece of the future technology, if you will, on fishing rods, but you can also put anything you want inside of there, whether it be a picture of your favorite cat or uh, football team or gosh this one here's got abalone shell in it that we've imported from Hawaii. Do many people ask for the favorite cat? Not the favorite cat I have. <laughs> but as far as sporting, uh, any hobby anybody wants to do, now one thing that's cool too is they can custom make your rod and then they will put your name in the rod. That's correct. We custom engrave your name or just for example we made an Alabama rod for a fella and he wanted roll tide. Well naturally he got a roll tide right on his rod. You know, these rods are fully customized. They're not only look good, feel good, they're high performance tools.
friends, be looking for bull bay rods on the market. I promise you, this rod will be in stores and in lakes and, and all over the world soon enough. An amazing new rod with new technology. Not only does it work, sensitivity and feel, but it is beautiful. Carbon fiber handles on the front, the extended grips if you're fishing out of a boat, shorter butts if you're in a kayak. This rod can be made just for you, one of a kind in the world. So go today, www.bullbayrods.com. Find out more about these great rods. We'll see you soon out on the water. Hi, we're here in beautiful Tampa Bay. Oh, I can't lean on that. Falling in the water. Find out more about these great rods. We'll see you soon out on the water. You know, Chuck, I forgot to mention here, 6.4 ounces is what this rod weighs. I'm sorry, your rod is 6.4 ounces. The kayak series with the titanium guides is running four and a half ounces. So four and a half ounces, the kayak rod. That's correct. And 6.6 .6 ounces. 6.4. 6.4 ounces. On the six, seven foot six long, then the length, rod and not only will it, will, will does it perform you've got a rod that'll will that'll take the bend and then you got a look rod at that oh my gosh bend. I'm sorry it'll just oh my gosh take the bend I'm getting nervous people here most rods will snap right at that yeah most point. of your high-end rods you buy on the shelf's gonna get about here then they're gonna break okay honestly I promise can you. I do this go for it all right pull it down pull it out there's a hook on the end of this line so I don't want it to slip that's amazing. So what you have is high performance equipment that looks good, can be fully customized to your choice. Whether it be offshore or inshore rods, we have both. Uh, just visit us at bullbayrods.com or bbrods.com or find us on Facebook at Bull Bay Rods.